Aloha buddies, it's Concert Buddy, firing off a quick off-cycle video today uh, to respond to a terrific thread started in the vinyl community by Chris Profi, his channel Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed, great dude, great member of the BC, always pumping out really interesting videos, uh, so highly recommend it, I'll put a link down below if you want to check his channel, but uh, Chris had a great idea, and that's why I'm not going to have a traditional intro into this video and all that stuff. I'm just going to fire this one away. You shut your mouth, you bastard! Chris has had a great idea for a thread video series, what you want to call it, talking about vinyl shopping at home in the sense of when your collection gets bigger, maybe there's some records you haven't listened to in a while, and, and when you go pull one and put it on it's like a new discovery right so you're like record shopping at home i think was the 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 idea the ethos behind the video so i thought it was a tremendous idea because uh, there are plenty of records in my collection that probably have not seen sunlight in a long time so in what i'll call whack-a-mole uh, style shout out to mazzy i know mac whack-a-mole is usually his his gimmicks and no copyright infringement here all respect. I think it's a great series he does, but he basically goes and just randomly picks records off the shelves and talks about them. So for this particular thread, I thought that's a great approach. That way I don't have any kind of script or kind of preconceived thoughts. I just fire it from the hip. So I went and pulled four different records from four different shelf locations, and I'm going to talk about them right now. Let's go. So first record I pulled was Dropkick Murphy's The Warrior's Code. Uh, if you're watching this, I would hope you know who the Dropkick Murphys are, but if you don't, they're a band based out of Boston. Uh, probably their earmark song for the mainstream folks would be Shipping Up to Boston, which was in The Departed, that movie with Leo and Jack Nicholson and Matt Damon and uh, Mark Wahlberg, all those guys. But um, this came on green vinyl, playing up the, the thick Boston roots. Um, really enjoy this one. I saw the Dropkick Murphys in concert once. Uh, really good show. I can't say I'm a super duper fan. I enjoy their work. Comes on, I don't turn it off the radio, that kind of thing. And and, and they put on a really good show. So I would, uh, would give this a spin or give it a try in your local streaming form if you're interested. If, no, if nothing else, Shipping Up to Boston is a tremendous song. I really enjoy. So, number one. Okay, so this one has not seen the light of day in some time. This was buried deep in my soundtracks pile, or my soundtrack stack, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is National Lampoon's Vacation, the first movie of that series, Christmas Vacation, Las Vegas Vacation, uh, Canada Day Vacation, all, all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, 1983, uh, the big song probably on this, obviously this Chevy Chase uh, series of movies was Holiday Road. I think it's what's called, yeah, by Lindsey Buckingham. Lindsey was kind of doing some solo stuff outside of Fleetwood Mac after, uh, you know, um, Tusk came out in 1980. So um, really catchy song, kicks off the movie as they do like the title role and stuff at the beginning. But uh, for some reason, I, when I started trying to hunt down particular records from my past and my childhood and growing up and all that sort of thing, so it wasn't easy to find. Um, and it actually goes for a decent a decent dollar. It's not like one of my most expensive records, but harder to find and more expensive than you would probably think. But definitely something fun to add to the collection. This one even has like sticker residue. I don't love that, but it is what it is, right? It plays great. Sounds great. Lampoon's Vacation, numero two in my vinyl shopping at home. All right. So the third record for this exercise is Fits in the Tantrums. Uh, this one's called Picking Up the Pieces. This was probably of their catalog so far, probably their biggest tracking uh, album. Had songs like uh, Breaking the Chains of Love, uh, Money Grabber, Picking Up the Pieces, the title track, um, L.O.V. And I guess the background behind this band is Fitz, gentleman here, lead singer, was like a background singer, stereo musician, wrote songs for others, that sort of thing. And this was kind of his vehicle to make his own career um, we've seen them, gosh, three, four, five times. I'd, I'd have to count. I have to go back and think. A really good live band. Last time we saw them in, outside of Cleveland, probably wasn't their best show. Um, but 
generally a very good live act to see. Um, this one I got from Amoeba, super cheap. Um, so when it was a matter of, I could get a record uh, for $10 shipped, basically, and it's on red vinyl. I like how they have uh, this dated Apple iPod kind of sticker there, it's fantastic. But um, really good band, really high energy type music, a lot of good stuff, like if you run or exercise, great stuff to listen to when you're working out, so good to go. Okay, so the last record I'm gonna talk about for this uh, video thread for Mr. Chris Profi is Ray LaMontagne, one of my favorites. This is his album, Supernova. Uh, it was his, I believe, not his most recent record, but the one before it. Um, he had kind of tried some new sounds on the album prior to this, a little bit more electric guitar, uh, different kind of sound that when I heard it, it was okay, but it definitely wasn't some of his earlier material, um, that kind of vibe, right? So Supernova kind of started turning the car back to um, what I think he does best, which is like singer songwriter, like really turned down earthy type music. Um, this one, probably the best songs on here, in my opinion, I'd say the title track Supernova is terrific. Uh, She's the one, it's a really spirited song. Um, I know we just saw Ray come through town in May and caught him, great show, uh, such a treat, like a really unique voice if you ever listen to Ray sing. Um, not only is he a great singer-songwriter, but just the, the, the sound of his voice is it's hard to replicate. It's very, very unique. But um, one he did play on that show, I remember, was OJ, OJ AI. He told a story, I believe, about it, what the song was about, talking back to his childhood and an uncle he had and so forth. But um, pretty much anything Ray puts out, I pick up. Um, just because I'm that big of a fan, I really enjoy his work. And like I said, outside of that one album where he kind of took a detour and was trying new things, more power to him. I think every single album is, is worth picking up. Tremendous singer-songwriter. Like I said, that voice is from another galaxy. It's just so, so terrific, right? So, Ray LaMontagne, Supernova, record shopping at home. Uh, Chris, thank you for this idea um, to do a video outside of my normal realm. I'm usually kind of motivated. Uh, like I did the Rachel's Ghost uh, contest earlier this week. Just some great people in the VC inspire me to uh, find a few minutes to fire off these videos as I can. But uh, Chris, love your channel. I think you're doing great stuff. I enjoy your stuff with the four horsemen <laughs> of the VC. Uh, you guys are, are pretty, pretty good dude. And to be honest, I still do believe that shit. Highly encourage if you're watching this video, make your own video kind of follow Chris's guide here, just do some record shopping at home and talk about records. There's nothing better. So I hope for my American viewers, USA, uh, you guys have a nice, safe 4th of July weekend. Be careful with them fireworks. Don't blow off any digits. Um, if you're not out, if you're outside the USA, Canada, UK, wherever, I want to thank you for watching. Um, have a good weekend yourself. And until next time, if you get the chance, just spin it. Watch your hands on the fireworks. See ya. Well, well, well. How the turntables. Well, we out of time.